Hey dudes, I'm Hyla and welcome to Hyla Cooking. So I've gotten a lot of requests over the years for um, cake balls, which is what happens when a ball and a cake collide. And then you put a stick in it, bam, you got a cake pop. The problem is, while I love these things, I don't know how to make them. I'm not really, that cake decorating and fancy stuff like that is not really my bag because my hands are very clumsy, like giant fat marshmallow fingers. So for Halloween, I brought on a very special guest and we're going to make some cake pops. We're going to decorate them for Halloween themed. It's going to be super cute. So please welcome Jessica. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is Jessica from South Austin Cakes and you're kind of a whiz at this, right? Um, I try. I okay. try. Yeah. So today we're going to be making some little uh, spooky aliens and mummies and stuff. So they're going to be super cute for Halloween. Awesome. Okay. So if I did what you asked and I made you a cake yesterday and then cut it up in chunks and let it just kind of sit here for a couple hours. Mm -hmm. So you really just kind of want uh, some of that moisture in the cake to dry out a little bit before you start crumbling it up. Um, it just really helps with the texture of the cake ball later on. I like to take two forks and just kind of like start crumbling it up. So you just kind of want it to look kind of like coarse breadcrumbs. Yeah, it looks pretty good now. Now, um, if you go to like different websites that teach you how to make cake pops, they'll tell you to put in a whole container or a whole recipe of icing and I think that that's way too much because it'll give you a really gooey cake pop and I don't like that personally. Mm -mm. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, we're going to start with about a quarter cup of icing. Yeah, just like a big a glop. Yeah, just a, a glop and just mix it up with your hands like a meatloaf. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, and you would wear gloves usually. Yeah, I wear gloves when I do this. Yeah, but I forgot my gloves today. <laughs> and I'm just very inappropriate. So. <laughs> Our test to check and see if there's enough icing in here is basically we're going to get just like a little glob of it and roll it up into a ball. If there are any like big noticeable cracks in it, then we need to add a little bit more icing. We could probably use just a little bit more. Okay. So, yeah, and then when you add in the extra, yeah, it's just kind of like by the fingerful. Okay. Because you don't want to add too much. Okay, and it can be like really firm when you're. Oh, okay, yeah. It. Yeah, because you want it to be like compact. Check it out. Ah, that looks perfect. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, pretty good. And so, what we're going to do now, and this is different again, you know, from some of the other online tutorials that you'll find, is we're actually just going to stick some plastic wrap on this and stick it in the fridge for at least two to three hours before we start rolling it up. Okay. All right, then let's do that. And you brought another one. Yeah, already... I brought yeah, I brought some that's already prepared and ready to go. Okay. Okay, so your dough is way prettier than mine. <laughs> I just did a white cake and I smushed in some Halloween colored sprinkles when I was uh, making the dough. And so when we roll them up, they're going to look kind of marbled and really pretty and, and kind of spooky. And this dough has been in the refrigerator overnight. So basically you're just going to kind of fill up your scoop, roll it back and forth in your hands a couple of times to kind of soften it up because this is really hard because it has been in the fridge. And then you're just going to roll it into a ball. Of course for the eyeballs we just want, you know, a normal round shape or as round as you can get it. If you kind of cup your hands together then it'll get more of a, a more of an actual round shape. There we go and you can see like the sprinkles kind of got all marbled and kind of cool looking on there. So there's eyeball number one. I think my hands are deformed. <laughs> Yeah, and they're supposed to be creepy eyeballs, so if they're a little, you know, misshapen, okay. Good point. It's all good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Next, I can show you how to do our little alien shape. You know, roll it into your ball, then you can kind of like do this in between your hands and we'll start making a little point on the bottom. Oh yeah. There we go. And so the last shape we're gonna do is for a little mummy. So I'm just gonna kind of roll it up, then just roll the whole thing in between my hands. Perfect. Finally got one right, you guys. Okay, so first step, we're gonna start with our eyeballs. And so we're gonna use these creepy little yellow uh, candy melts for the irises for our eyeballs. We've just melted a little bit of uh, black candy melts and you can get this like at any hobby store. And um, for doing this, I personally like to use little parchment bags, but you can totally use um, like a little, just a plastic baggie and just snip off the corner of it and use that to, to do the detail work on these cake balls. Pipe, just a little black circle right in the middle. And you know, if they kind of get crazy and messed up, they're supposed to be spooky. My marshmallow fingers worked for something, finally. 
So that's perfect. That one's like the best one. <laughs> okay. But what we can do now is we can go on and start getting these guys ready to be dipped in chocolate. So you just take one of your little lollipop sticks here, just put a little bit of chocolate on it, and you can just kind of like take off some of the excess chocolate there. Just kind of twist it in gently. And then we're just gonna let that hang out um, for a couple of minutes so it'll dry. Okay, we can go on and do the other ones though. Okay, so these are these set really fast because our dough is cold. Yeah. So that's so we don't have to stick them in the freezer and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, so we're going to dip this in our white melting chocolate. Swirl it around. You do want to kind of be gentle with them because they do have a tendency sometimes to fall off of the stick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of gently tap it a little bit and just kind of try and smooth it out. And this part does take a little bit of patience. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. You know, after you coat it and kind of drip off the excess chocolate, you want to just let it set for about 20 or 30 seconds. And we can just kind of stick our pupil right in there. Ooh, get in there. Okay, there we go. Looking like an eyeball. Yeah. Okay, next mummies. Okay, so basically we're going to do the same thing. So we're just going to get them and dip them. And then we've got these. Oh. Eyeballs. Some little candy eyeballs that you can pick up at the grocery store or the hobby store, and we're going to use those for our mummies. Okay, so we're just going to let these guys kind of hang out and dry for a little bit. Ooh, he's getting a little, a little cockeyed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay. Uh, and then we'll. So, and actually, we're going to want to save a little. We're going to want to put a little bit of this white chocolate into a parchment bag so that we can decorate the mummies. And then we're going to color this green for our aliens. Okay. And so, whenever you um, color chocolate, you want to be you want to be sure that you use um, an oil-based color so that um, your chocolate won't seize on you. Okay, so let's go in and start dipping our aliens. Oh, I'll get the eyeballs. Yeah. And of course, you know, I'm sure the aliens also come with different numbers of eyeballs too. Ooh, right? yeah. So and you can actually, you know, kind of give them little different expressions too with where you place the eyeballs. Like eyeball placement is really important because it can give them a lot of personality. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that one. Yeah. So we'll just let those set and then we'll finish decorating. So I've got some of my candles in my little parchment bag. And so we're just going to make some little creepy gross veins on our eyeballs. And so really you can just kind of do this however you want to. So little squiggly lines or little choppy lines. <laughs> yeah, it's totally gross. Yeah. Good job. Try one? Yes. Pretty grody. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the mummies, you made the hole a little bit bigger, right? Yeah, yeah, so you want a little bit of a bigger hole in the parchment. Um, and so for this one, here's our technique, because we're gonna get the mummy and we're just gonna kind of like twirl it around as we pipe the little mummy strings on there. Whoa. <laughs> he looks even <laughs> crazier. <laughs> okay, awesome. Look how cute. You wanna eat one? Sure. Okay. Okay. How about this one? Okay, and I'm gonna go for this guy. Okay. okay. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. I like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not quite, it's not so overly sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, now it looks really gross too. <laughs> <laughs> See, and then like, yeah, my alien brains are all, you know, speckled and different colors. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming oh, on. Sure, you're welcome. Yay. Thank and you for having me. Yeah, that was fun. So I hope you guys try this. If you live in the area and you want to talk to Jessica about cakes, then it's mm -hmm. southaustincakes.com, right? That's right. So um, everybody give a big round of applause and a thumbs up and hope you try these cake pops for Halloween. So happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs>